I think cartooning can provide a way of putting forward a view that can be responded by to by politicians and the community at large, but you have to be always conscious about how is it that you're expressing those views. And I think that is that tension between uh, is the cartoon uh, promoting a view versus acknowledging the existence of a view that may need to be combated and trying to get that balance. Uh, I think even recently in Australia is where we've found differences of opinion about where that balance or where that line is. We as a nation are known for our uh, enjoyment of sarcasm and that can be portrayed in Australian cartoons in a way that it probably can't be conveyed in American cartooning. And it is a way of saying things that people feel but feel also constrained about expressing. Having said that, Sometimes there's a very good reason for why people feel constrained about expressing certain sentiments because they're sentiments that are politically incorrect but often or well, sometimes might be views that are, you know, they might be racist views or they might be views that are um, sexist or what have, whatever else, which probably shouldn't be coming mainstream media views, but sometimes there are tensions within society that, require an, a form of expression at least to acknowledge their existence so that we can find ways of dealing with them and cartoons can provide that way of expressing them.